Hey everybody, wanted to do a video of my finished homemade press brake. Now this is mostly made out of scrap metal and I painted it so it looked somewhat decent. And I had my brother make me a Got Bent sticker, like the Got Milk logo. Um, if you guys want any custom vinyl stickers, like uh, his email's in the description below, and you just give him the inches tall by inches wide, whatever size you want, and he can give you a quote. He uses high quality vinyl, but I thought that was cool to have that on there. Okay, now you might notice that this design's probably upside down from what you're normally used to seeing. Uh, normally, you see the bottle jack on top of the punch, and then the punch pushes down on its own tracks into the die. And that works fine, but what I ran into is as the metal was bending and coming up, it would hit the edge of the bottle jack. And the only way to get around that was to make the press break probably like that much taller. So what I did instead is put the die on the bottom and the die travels up and down and it still works fine and it let it that made it so I can make the press brake a lot more compact and I had didn't have to use as much metal. Um, another thing I ran into is I used uh, I used 3 8 angled steel for the die and when the metal was bending into there at a 90 once I lowered the bottle jack the metal would spring back to like 98 degrees and so how I fixed that is I got some square metal bar and just welded that onto the lips of the die so now the die is actually an acute angle and I can push it a little bit past 90 and then once it has the spring back it's like right at 90 and I took some 8 inch wide quarter inch steel and just pushed it as far as it would go just to see what it could do and I got it to stay a little less than 90 so that's kinda cool so for sure I can do right at 90 which is what I'll probably only ever do um, I also made this have two walls and I can unbolt the punch and remove it so I can sharpen the blade or if I want to change if I want to make like other kinds of punches I can change them but um, there's some retraction springs and I get some longer feet because when you're jacking the bottle jack up it liked it liked to tip over so I had to put that on there but um, also uh, these welds right here, let's see if I can get it. I did that with a Harbor Freight MIG welder, and I'm gonna do a review video of that, so be sure to check that out. But that holds up just fine. I mean I bent it bent this with it. But um hope this gives you some ideas if you're making your own press brake, it can help you fine-tune the design you want to do. So thanks for watching.